So it is late May 2016. What that means is I have a couple of months to hone my rib recipe, to come up with a rub, to come up with a sauce, to come up with the perfect cooking method to win this thing once and for all. Uh, tomorrow, for the first time, I'm going to be making some ribs on my brand new Weber Smoky Mountain Smoker. I've made some uh, beer can chicken on there, uh, I think two weeks ago, just to test it out for the first time. Loved it. Loved it. Um, and although I've been grilling for quite a while, I don't have all that much experience smoking, I have to say. Uh, most of my experience comes from my uh, father-in-law's cottage cooking on his Komodo Joe. But this, this is all me, you know? Nobody's gonna be there, uh, and it's all gonna be up to me, and I look forward to it. My wife is out with a friend. Perfect time to start working on that rub, I think. So the rub I'm going to be using is Stephen Reichland's Memphis Rub, as found in the Barbecue Bible. I have to say I've only made this rub twice before, but I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I've never had it on ribs, but I think it would be phenomenal. So it's time to make the sauce. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit in front of me. Um, this recipe actually comes from Dr. Barbecue. I uh, forget what his actual name is. Anyways, this recipe is from topribs.com, if I remember correctly. You can find it online. I tried this sauce last year at Ribfest, I believe. At least I pray this is the recipe. I'm not 100% sure. If it is indeed the same recipe, it is one of the best barbecue sauces I've ever made. Unfortunately, my phone ran out of data, um, and as a result, you guys didn't really get to see the end result there. And you know what? Not the worst thing. Well, first of all, let me say it's not a bad sauce. Uh, Dr. Barbecue's got quite a few different recipes out there uh, on the web, and this is not the one I tried last year at Ribfest. This is my second time trying to track it down and failing as a result. As you may have noticed, I put in an entire jalapeno, seeds included. Yeah, I paid for that. Um, my first taste, I, I, my mouth is on fire. And that's usually not a terrible thing, but when you consider, at least my opinion, uh, but when you consider the rub is spicy enough as it is, uh, it's a risk. And I had to kind of counteract that. So I put in some, uh, some brown sugar, some molasses, uh, some more honey, uh, perhaps a few other things. Anyhow, I ultimately got it somewhere I thought, I found interesting. So I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning, have a taste, See how I feel. Uh, my taste buds are kind of fried from, from the heat from, from those jalapenos. Uh, so hopefully what I taste tomorrow morning is as good as I hope it is at the moment. Otherwise, I'll make a few other tweaks and then we'll uh, finally start smoking. All right. So today is the big day. <clears throat> so I'm going to prep the ribs, prep the smoker, and get started. So let's uh, do a little bit of trimming. I'm going to need to remove this papery membrane at the back here. I'm going to use this butter knife, paper towel. I'm just going to take this here, and I'm going to pull. And look at that, it's coming right out. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil here, not too much. Put some, rub it in. I've also rubbed the sides and the ends. All right, so this is for my wife. This is a sweeter uh, rib. I used a, a different rub. 
for her, this is actually also from Stephen Reichlin. It's from uh, Ribs, Ribs, Ribs. I'm also going to be putting actual, actually a maple glaze on that later. But for me, and a friend of mine who's coming over, this is what we're having. We're, again, we're going to try out the Memphis rub we made yesterday. It's got a bit of a kick to it. I put in quite a bit of cayenne pepper, and uh, hopefully it works out. Let's get the grill ready. All right, so it's been about three hours. Let's take a look. I'm gonna keep checking up on them every 40 minutes or so until they're done. Oh, oh, look at that, that's ready. A sweet one. And I've decided to try this maple glaze on the one with the Memphis rub as well, just to see what it's like. Just a few minutes more. It's good stuff was really smoky, it was sweet, because I had the maple one, so, mmm, excellent. I got no words, bro. <laughs> the smoke. <laughs> you guy fieri. The taste of the smoke, um, um, oh, man. Wait, <laughs> you're forgetting. So, overall, mission accomplished. Delicious. Um not award-winning i still have some work to do i think the sauce might be a little too spicy um or the rub perhaps either way one of the two has to sweeten up right so i've got plenty more time plenty more experimenting to do habayo jf all you other contestants i'm coming for you